Hey everyone, it's Candace from Healing Essentially here in the RMWV with uh, doTERRA essential oils. And today I wanted to show you how to make a flea and tick spray for your pets. I don't know um, how many of you are like me. I prefer not to put chemicals on my animal. Um, that's just a personal preference. And so I've never used the flea and tick medication um, from our local vets. Um, I recently borrowed um, Dr. Janet Rourke's new book um, right here, Essential Oils for Pets. Uh, it's a guidebook that she published. Uh, Dr. Rourke is a vet in the US and she uses doTERRA essential oils within her practice. So my friend uh, Nancy with Healing Healthy with Nancy bought this book and loaned it to me because uh, my husband and I are going to the mountains this coming weekend and we're taking our dog. And so I'm concerned about fleas and ticks while we're in the mountains uh, given that as I said, we've never used the flea and tick medication from the vet. Um, so within the book, there is a flea and tick spray. Um, so I'm going to make that for you today and hopefully you'll use it as well. Um, so I'm actually gonna use a dropper bottle. You can use um, a spray bottle like this that you can get from Amazon. Um, I'm going to use a dropper bottle so that I can also put it on his um, collar. Um, so to make the flea and tick spray, we are going to use five different oils today. So the first one is cedarwood, and we're going to use five drops of cedarwood. Go. And the next one is lavender. So we're going to use four drops of lavender. And then geranium. So we're going to do three drops of geranium. And then we are going to use lemongrass. So just one drop of lemongrass. And then the fifth oil is optional. Um, not everyone has this um, in their home or readily available to them. It's abravite. Um, this is a five mil bottle. So we're going to do two drops of abravite. Okay, so we're going to mix these all together. Now the recipe does call for aloe vera juice or distilled water. Um, I don't have aloe vera juice right now. Um, I have it ordered from Amazon. And um, when looking at the different options, another option that you can use instead of aloe vera juice is witch hazel. Um, so I always have witch hazel. I get this one from Amazon as well. I've had it for quite some time. The one thing that you do wanna make sure though is that it's alcohol-free witch hazel, um, which this one is, and it's unscented. And this one does actually have uh, aloe vera in it as well. When you're using any products with your doTERRA essential oils, you want to make sure that they are 100% pure um, as well. And the Thayer's Witch Hazel is 100% um, pure. It's just pure water with organic aloe vera and certified organic witch hazel and then citric acid. So 100% pure. So I am going to add witch hazel to this. You could even do a combination of witch hazel with distilled water if you want. The witch hazel helps uh, bond 
to the essential oils so that um, it meshes better with the water because obviously oil and water don't mix. Um, so then I'm just going to shake this up and there you go. There's the flea and tick spray or drops to use on our dog this weekend. Have a good weekend, everybody.